excuse me. Tell me everything you know about this country, the president, the rebels, and the war. You've got 45 seconds. Oh, the rebels. They're the Karibu Revolutionary Army, and their leader is Mzekidogo. Mzekidogo? Mzekidogo. It means in English, little old man. Good. And? Quickly. The president hopes that the oil fields will make Karibu become rich, more significant in the world. But the rebels think that the oil fields are meant for the people, make them rich. Good. Okay, now shush. Thanks. Quiet, please! Going in five, four, three... Now to Central Africa. In Karibu, the situation is worsening. The U.S. statement yesterday has led to an escalation in fighting on the outskirts of the capital, Uzuri. Our chief foreign editor, David Bradburn, is there. What's the latest, David? Sophie, it's a tense situation. The rebels are increasingly active here in the south of the country where the main oil fields are. President Kubwasana's government is desperate to stop the militias claiming the oil. Those rebels, led by a shadowy figure known as Mze Kirogo, say they want to control the supply and use it to benefit the population. Sophie. The US government say if the capital falls, the civil war in Karibu could destabilize the whole region. Is that likely to happen, David? There is no doubt this is a very unstable place. There are more or less constant volleys of gunfire from one side or the other. But the last thing this country needs is a protracted struggle for control. Sophie. David, thank you. And now we go live to Nicholas Witchell at Bougie's in central London. Is that it? How long was that? 38 seconds. Pathetic! Not even a minute! Oh, absolutely brilliant stuff, though. It's just... And it's too bad the gunfire stopped. That would have given it a lovely, sinister atmosphere. They might have stayed with me. The boys thought you wanted no gunfire. You want gunfire? No, no, no. You're all right, thanks. Yeah, well, uh, maybe a little bit. Oh. They're so lucky even to have me. Chelsea, Chelsea, up the blues! Oh. Oh. Excellent. Right, well, that's the lunch time. Now it's time for lunch. Uh, Jack, see if we get a bit more of that mortar fire. Useful for later. Excuse me, David. Uh, Mr. Redman, I was having... Chelsea, I was Chelsea, wondering if I could just have a chat to you. I'm not looking to string it in. We've got... Yeah.